What's up, Tube Nation? Day three, same water, with the shirt, a sweat. Down to the stove. Putting in that work, man, trying to push myself. Every time I can push. I got a nice ass range, though. But, uh, yeah, man. Woo! I see that. We serious. We serious. I'm serious. Let me show you what's in the bag real quick. We're serious. Huh? Bitch is sweaty. The wraps. You know what I'm saying? Mouth guard one. Didn't need today, but jump rope. Gotta let them let the wraps in the gloves air out. Hold on one second. All right, we in the whip. Um, yeah, man. University of Hard Knocks, man. No joke. No joke, man. Uh, so the thing I said about the damn speed bag, wrong technique. Scratch all that. That's extra wrong. Um, this brother, he's been boxing here for 10 years. And um, it's for those who, who are band nerds or music nerds, it's triple it. So you hit it. It hits the back of the board, and it's front of the board, and you hit it again. So it's boom, it's boom, 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 boom. Now, it's easy to say in your head, it's easy to make the sound, but the speed and technique, you want to develop it all the time. If you don't, you know, don't get mad your first week, first day, first month even. If you're not on it, you start to get it over time. It's repetition. Everything is repetition. Um, we do the same, well, not necessarily the same thing, but we do, um, we do a circuit every time. Now, there's little nuances, little things that change from time to time, but, uh, you do the circuit, you know what I'm saying? You're going to do some network on your technique, your punching technique, hitting a target, hitting a moving target, moving while you're hitting the target. You're going to get that, um, every time because that's a part of boxing, um, I don't know. I'll check the message later. <laughs> uh, you, um, you're gonna get in the ring with an opponent that you're gonna, you know, you they got the shield. Boom! You're trying to hit him, but nah, I'm not gonna let you hit me. Here's the thing, and here's another thing with, with it, it teaches you not to flinch. Like when the, something's coming your way, your natural instinct is to, to, you know, close your eyes or flinch or, or but it, it teaches you. Because you're on the shield, it teaches you how to how to absorb punishment. Because even though you're holding the shield, I'm holding it directly in front of my torso. So these dudes, boom, boom, boom. You know what I'm saying? Deflating air, and you're moving, and you're trying to move quickly, and you're trying to pivot, and you're trying to rotate, and get out of dude's way. You know what I'm saying? And you're getting hit. So you're exerting a lot of energy. You're using a lot of oxygen. Your lungs are really having to work. And my lung capacity, you know, right now is trash. You know, I've, I've been, um, I've, I've worked out a little bit, but I, as far as cardio, mad sedentary. Mad sedentary. So that's one thing you have to realize. You're going to want to quit because your body's like, I can't, I can't take no more. This is it. Your body is into a state of homeostasis, which is where it is comfortable. It's learned to function at the state that it's been in for so long. You know, if you've been sedentary for years, it knows how to function at a sedentary, uh, uh, lifestyle where you sit down a lot. You know, if you don't do a lot of walking daily, this what your body knows how to do. So I suggest if you're thinking about boxing, start walking. Get into it, but start walking. Um, this is my Saturday class. I don't go back till Tuesday, so either Sunday morning or Monday morning, I'll probably walk or jog. Just something to get the body moving. Uh, if Jogging walks you too hard on the body, get your bike. Get your good bike. Don't get a cheap one. Get your good solid bike. And, and do a lap. And do it early in the morning or late in the evening. <gasps> Excuse me. I'm going to pause that. Early in the morning, late in the evening. Uh, that way you can do it in the cooler day and just push yourself. And, and learn to force your lungs to obey your body's needs. 
uh, when I'm in there and they're like, all right, man, go and breathe. You know, they know they they can tell I'm getting winded. I'm, I'm tanked. You know, that's it. I'll breathe in through my nose and then out through my mouth. It's because the seeds do that, but when you, because when you're in the boxing match, you got your mouth guard in. You don't want to sit in there with your mouth open the entire time like that, man. You will, um, that's how your your opponent will clearly know. That's a visible sign that you're tanked in a match. And they're gonna go for they're gonna go for the knockout. They're gonna go for putting you away because you ain't got nothing left. And when you ain't got nothing left, it is hard to throw any power punches. It don't matter how, how physically strong you are, if your muscles are not getting oxygen now, this is science. If your muscles are not getting a ample amount of oxygen, um if uh it's some great substance it creates, I forgot it's not lycopene. It starts with an L, and I and, and I try to put that into the to the video, but um, it creates a gray substance because it is losing all the oxygen and it's, and it's clearly in need of it. So what will happen is you'll be throwing punches, you'll make the physical contact, but there's no power, no power, none whatsoever. And so that's me. I'm hitting the dude. I'm hitting the shield, and my body's like, yo, bro, we. We can punch all day, every day. You know what I'm saying? You can do that all the time. I'm running around in my damn life. You know how bad 12 is. Oh. But your body's like, hey, man, you punching. But I'm feeling it. There's no power in my punches. There's none. I'm punching and making contact. But there's nothing there, and he's like, "No, nah, you gotta push yourself. When you, when you ready to quit, you gotta push yourself." So I'm, now I'm like, mm, 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 mm. "It's not as much power." In fact, let me, I need to cast this membership at uh, Planet Fitness. I do this on the phone. They should ask somebody. Twenty-four-seven. I don't feel like you know right now. I need to recover and get some recovery foods. Uh, some protein shake, vegan protein shake in my body. But, oh man, you. So I'm, I'm digging it. He's like, he's like, good. And, and that's one thing I like. That I'm, I'm glad I didn't sign up to the other gym. No, no disrespect to them. It's because I would have had 24 hour access. Cool. But I'd have nobody to push me. Say, man, you got to dig deep. Or, or, you know, show me technique. Show me how to step, how to move, how to pivot. None of that stuff. So I know I, I'd be able to throw a punch. But I wouldn't know that you're supposed to actually punch. The cushion uh, in between the knuckles, with the cushion right here on these three fingers, because it lines up with your uh, with your arm and your wrist. I always start you with these two fingers, because they, these two knuckles, because they protrude more. But he's right. Polly, said, you know what Polly says is right. This uh, your your pointing finger, your index finger, shall I say? That knuckle does not line in, line up with your wrist. So when you throwing punches, it, there's no support for it to absorb that blow. And then you don't want to punch directly off your knuckles because you can break that. You want to punch off the, right in here. Just make a tight fist. Boom. Right in here. Oh, another thing. Um, on your days off, on regular days and stuff, you'll notice your hands will like, feel like they're hurting. Uh, I don't know if your fist spread automatically or whatever you're boxing, but that's part of it because you're making a fist and you're making contact. It's, I think that's just a part of the game. Uh, I'll talk to Paulie about that. See what it's called and get a definitive answer on it. I'll talk to you guys about it in the next vlog, man. But I'm finna head home. I've been talking for almost 10 minutes. I'm tired. I feel good, though. I feel real good. I need to, uh, you know, be up on my, my liquids. I always go in there with a, a gallon of water, spring water, room temperature. I don't drink. I try not to drink the cold water because your body, you just warmed up. So why would you try to cool down? You just warmed up. I gotta find this down. Man, I know I didn't need that there. Just a dang on water. Uh, uh, I just can't find it. But yeah, anyway, man, I'm finna let y'all 
have it, then be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. Like I said, this series is going to be three days out of the week. It's going to be uh, after my, on the day of my classes, every week, uh, except for, um, well, I might do it while I'm out of town, too. That way you guys can still keep up with what's going on. And I don't want to get out of my regimen. I want my body to to acclimate and say, okay, we look forward to a workout. We need that that uh, liberation. So, until next time, peace and blessings, family. I say. I actually did leave a body armor at the damn gym. I'm gonna get that. Chinese hand. That's my right, I'm gonna